I'm getting towards the center of my work. It's getting hard for me to put my finger in here and work across. I've dispensed with putting a stick in here. I'm working with a safety string, but this is probably the last time I'll put the safety string in because putting the safety string in at this point sometimes introduces errors. I'm going to live dangerously here. I'm going to work from one knitting needle to another knitting needle. Now, when it's difficult to put your finger through, you want to be able to fold the cloth this way. And if you can't do that, then you need to adjust here because at this point, um, as always, you need to have a loose warp in order to have a tight cloth and it needs to be loose enough for you to hold on. So I have all the stitches from last row on this needle and one by one I'm going to put the stitches onto this needle. And my needles act like my fingers used to act. I'm going to pick up one thread from the back and I drop off one. Here that's the bead thread because it's an overplate row. I'm going to pick up one from the back and I drop off one at the front. Pick up and drop off. Let's see if I can zoom in here. And you can see this technique. Pick up one from the back and drop off one from the front. I'm going to use this thumb as a gatekeeper thumb. Pick up one and the gatekeeper only lets one off. Pick up one from the back, drop off one from the front. Pick up one from the back, drop off one from the front, and I'm going to work my way all the way across the row with this technique. Pick up and drop off.